Hey everybody and welcome back to Man with some pretty bad hay fever <laughs> plays video game in some ironic ways. Yeah, one day they're gonna unearth this hard drive on my computer, plug that bad boy in and absolutely love what I have done to this game. In fact, it's so good just how much I've destroyed it to this point that I'm pretty sure it could be considered art in the future. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been biding my time in the shadows, hiding out from the authorities, you know, waiting just for someone in the world out there to be like, Damn, that ISP guy has not uploaded in a while, I wonder what he's up to, only to check out my channel and see the title of this video. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty clear that it's not going too well for me, really. But hey, if you've randomly stumbled upon this video and you're not subscribed to the ISP channel, you might be wondering what this is all about. Well, hey, I'm ISP. This is ISARA Productions. We're in a war to the death to see who can get the most subscribers. Currently, I'm lagging behind quite a bit. If you want to help me in my race against my own psychosis, feel free to hit the subscribe button and let me finally come on top against this disgusting human being. Uh, yeah. Speaking of disgusting, let's get straight into it, shall we? Right. So I'm assuming you've read the video title. So you know what? I think today we're going to make our character something to be proud of. Something that's honestly going to fit the scope of the video. Ah, oh, look at that. Two beautiful spectacles of human beings right there. But you know what? There are a few things that could be improved. That is right. I've turned myself into Mr. Banana! <laughs> Be careful looking into my eyes, you might be sucked into the NEVER DIMENSION! Hey honey, got that plastic surgery I was wanted. Now I look like a human banana! Kind of. Your plastic surgery's still not the best in the future. Uh, now of course, Mr. Banana deserves no family or anything good in his life, so we'll definitely take him out of this one and put him into something more suitable. That's right. Where we belong. Get out of your little slumber. Get back into the real world. The, the banana processing plant. That's where you belong, mister. Uh, as usual, we're just gonna set this to random, and we're just gonna find out what happens. Got no idea where this is gonna take me. Um, I have no idea to put our stats up, but honestly, now I'm thinking about it, I don't think if you were born a human banana, you'd really be that lucky. Um, so I guess we'll just knock that all the way down and uh, put it all into charisma, Mr. Banana, best man around. I can't remember what we got last time when we did this randomized life thing. Um, but I really want somewhere that's gonna fit Mr. Banana. His backstory, his character, I'm gonna base it all off of where we land uh, right here. Alright? Uh... Oh no. Mr. Banana! Alright? Okay, Mr. Banana? <laughs> Surprisingly, works for the Institute. Only something so monstrous could probably come from them. Alright, so where in the world is Mr. Banana? Uh, apparently I was just hanging out by a mass fusion disposal site. I'm assuming this is where I was born. Mr. Banana has no purpose in life. He, he has no name, no future, just a banana shaped head and a completely misguided sense of purpose. What possibly could be his purpose in this world? If only God should give him his answer by a sign. Is that a banana? Oh my God. That's a banana! Mr. Banana! From that day forward, after murdering like four dogs with a banana, Mr. Banana knew his purpose in life! Just to clarify, that is not to murder dogs, but to be a wasteland hero with his trusty banana! Uh, now, whilst Mr. Banana has found his own purpose in life, unfortunately he is still bound to the uh, very mediocre story of Fallout 4, so we, we, we've kind of got to go talk to some people. Uh, that's right, robot. It's me, Mr. Banana. The man with a banana that you've never met, you know? Mr. Banana didn't come from that irradiated lake to watch a robot wrestle with some really big flies. So, you guys know the deal. Mr. Banana needs to go ahead and take his trusty banana -na 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 -na, slay these uh, little blood bugs first off, and then we need to go see Preston Garvey, who would be a much better man if he switched the A and the R in his name that came Preston Gravy. <sighs> you know what? I've done this so many times. Uh, I think this time... I might just do a little bit differently. So, uh, Mr. Banana went ahead, called in a favor from a guy he knows, won't name any names, of a big YouTube fruit channel. Uh, it's Annoying Orange. And uh, he's gone ahead and given me a one-time use, one-time use 
favor that I can redeem whenever I want. And I didn't really want to fight in Concord today. So, thankfully, due to the powers of the annoying orange, Mr. Banana has gone ahead and, um... Well, he's done something that might be considered a bit unethical, but... Thankfully, the annoying orange does have access to a thermonuclear weapon. Have bananas gone too far? So, yeah. I, um... I'm really hoping that took care of my problem in Concord. Now I can focus on using my banana. Huh? Yeah, that looks, uh, looks pretty good. Took out the majority of the raiders here. Uh, don't really need to worry about these guys. And I can go straight up to... Of course you survive! You know, you seem surprisingly calm, considering the the, the, the air's on fire! I, I, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I have a sentient orange man who's very annoying. Uh, I, I he can call it tactical nuclear strikes wherever I want, and I have a sharpened banana, okay? Do you really want to mess with me? Just look at me. I'm some sort of cowboy banana man. <sighs> you know, that reminds me. You ever seen the show uh, Bananas in Pajamas? Um... This is kind of like a modern take on that. Alright, let's get this over with. We've had this conversation a million times. Oh. Just gonna walk away. Sorry about that, guys. Not the best introduction. I just hit your boss in there with banana. You know? We could use some more goodwill. I just realized that I, I don't actually look like a banana. I'm some sort of Squidward testicle. Our rescuer and my hero. Easy, child. Easy. Alright, I know what you're all thinking. Mr. Banana pretty cool guy but can he dismember a death claw with a banana never fear mr banana is here oh jesus oh lord okay so that tactical nuke kind of did a number on my ears um uh, just ignore that focus more on the fact mr banana is about to open a can of woo pass on a death claw come here taste my banana uh, there's my head i mean uh, i i know there's social distancing right now but why the hell am i talking to you from the other side of the room can you hear me can you speak up i can't hear you don't know what he just said but he just threw a microfusion cell at me from across the room and it landed in my giant mouth uh if you ever try to throw something at me i just open my giant jaw and catch it in my mouth like some sort of Pelican. Uh, unfortunately, you had to disable the nuke mod just for the simple fact not only did it destroy my ears, it also destroyed my save game five times over. Which is uh, very sad because I could have used one of those tactical nukes right about now. Hey everybody, welcome back to Watch Mojo's Top 10 Things to Anticipate in Fallout 5. Number 1 Banana POV. You're walking through the wasteland. Humanity has been almost wiped out. Nuclear war is prevalent and radiation is taken over the earth. You see a man running towards you. Kinda looks like a banana. He pulls out a banana. It's already too late for you. Just some sort of weird banana man scurrying around the waste. Trying to hover up any loot he can while sneak attacking with his sharpened banana. Oh no, okay. This is, uh, this is about to get very, very unfortunate. My... Yeah, can't banana that one. Oh, don't worry. Right into a Diamond City security. They look like they've got this one under wraps completely. I'm uh, pretty sure I've seen them get shot in the head multiple times, though. Not too sure if that guy's okay. And, uh... You really had a lot of cover behind that radio. What do you mean? You're not, you're not even shooting at them. The super mutants aren't anywhere there, my friend. You're a, you're a little bit off. What did that shop front ever do to you, huh? It's not a super mutant. That's concrete, my friend. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. Yeah. Mostly I'm imagining from the stray bullets, your security guards seem to be constantly firing in all directions. Uh, it's a bit awkward. You just... Just gonna... Stare at me and not say anything? Oh. You hear that, Danny? You oh, there you go. The she must have just been taking in my uh, amazing, you know, physique and appearance. Yeah, I, I, I guess if this thing turned up at my city, I'd also need a minute to figure out what was going on. Oh, she's, uh, she's not realized I'm here. Detective so, uh, Secretary. let's give her a shock, shall we? Ha <laughs> ha 
Imagine you were this woman, all right? And you didn't hear this thing turn up behind you. I didn't even have my banana out yet. Oh, there you go. Sorry about the whole hitting you with a banana and jumping, making you jump. Um, that's just my personality. I'm quirky like that. Never fear, Banana Man is here. <laughs> oh my God, I got them both in one hit. Biscuits! Run away! Oh, wait a second. I always forget when I come past this place. Uh, uh, Banana Man versus Shrek. Who will win? You decide. He's not gonna wake up. Hello? Are you... Don't make me come in there. Oh, I guess, uh, doesn't want to come out and play. Uh, I'll just, uh, leave you to it then. Um, a little bit awkward, you know? Turn up with my banana. Didn't want to let me shove it up your ass. Just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that. Well, it took you guys a little while to realize there's a man with a banana standing there, didn't you? You know, there's just something about a man with a banana going to look for a, well, a synthetic man who thinks he's a, you know, 1930s detective. It's a bit weird. Ah, come on, we can work this out. I'm just a man with a banana. Come on, you're a man with no eyeballs. You can't aim for a down. Who gave a blind man a gun and a monster a banana? What do you do when the banana bites back? Find out this summer. Banana man coming to a cinema near you. All right, I don't want to alarm you guys, but uh, if you turn this corner, there is something very scary. Yep, there's a whole army of people who want to eat my banana. Uh, just gonna have to wait until one of them say it. Stupid enough to turn the corner, and then uh, I'll wait for someone else to be stupid enough to turn the corner. And apparently I stabbed the guy behind him. That's the power of bananas, baby! Uh, maybe I need some like banana themed armor or something like that, because uh, these guys are doing a lot more damage to me. Then uh, I can really get off on them before they overwhelm me, which is a bit of a problem. Considering I'm currently eating whatever's in my pockets to survive, which, um, a bit of death claw me, uh, a, a mute fruit, get one of those down me. Uh, I drank some water before, so I guess we're just gonna wait 50 years and hopefully the hydration heals the bullet wounds. Oh, no, I've, I've been hit in the head. That's the, that's the least of my, what I needed right now. Um... I'm already mentally deranged enough that the brain damage probably isn't gonna help me out too much. Give me a break! Hey, you turn this corner, all you see is a man eating some cereal to heal the bullet wounds in his head. It's like taking out a few of them by now. Right now, there's still an army over there. Uh, good thing they really hate that wall. Oh, well, they stopped firing. Maybe they've uh, seen the error of their way. No, no. No, they still hate me. Bang the Lord. This guy had a melon in his pocket. Uh, eventually, they uh, they got bored of me, so I'm just looking through the pockets of their brethren, uh, looking for any sort of snacks to stick in my bullet wounds so uh, I can heal up. I guess, oh, I was about to say, I guess stealth might be the way to do this, but uh, I already messed that one up, didn't I? So I, I? I would say I'm like John Wick in my way through this, but I don't remember when John Wick had to take a minute every time he got shot at to fill up his wounds with you know, miscellaneous snacks. Come here, boys! <laughs> You ready to party? I'm here! All right, we made it through that bit after, a, you know, a bit of damage to Mr. Banana, but thankfully he's an amalgamation of every single cancer cell that can be, so he can simply uh, sleep off the blood loss and trauma to his body. How do I get the feeling? Uh, jumping down here. Might not be the best course of action. That's just great. You just say he lost me. I'm right here, you just looked at me! Well, uh, to be fair, if I uh, saw this Good weird night. banana freak looking Very back great. at me from a vent, uh, I'd probably pretend I didn't see it either. Yeah, it's usually around the time I find Nick Valentine that I always feel slightly done with the story of Fallout 4. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't mean to do that. Yes! Banana Man wants to find his son, slightly smaller Banana Boy. Nick, I don't care. I've played this game for like 500 hours now. I've heard it enough times. I don't want to play this. Uh, I'll tell you what, hold on. Uh, let me just eat some miscellaneous, you know, pork and beans, potato crisps, uh, 
purify water. Let me just, uh, um, nom, 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 and then I'll just run out and I got this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't worry about it. Banana Man has done this a million. I just got shot in the heart and died. It's all right, guys. I've blended in completely. Look, I'm in the kitchen. Nobody can see that I'm here as I'm a banana and I belong in the kitchen. All right, yeah, that's all right. John Wick, but no plot, no story, no like tale of revenge or anything for his last dog. It's just a man with a banana and a really big appetite. Also, I've killed a lot of people come through this door. Nick Valentine is not helping. Speaking of snacks, uh, kind of running low on my uh, stuff here. Drank all my water, all my carrots. Got no melons left. Uh, you know what? I guess I'll, I'll drink the dirty water and a blood bag. Bit of blood never hurt anyone. Stick that right in my mouth. Oh, this guy's got some cereal in his pocket. Don't mind if I do. There's another melon. I saw a sweet roll there. Got, oh, yeah. Bear with me, guys. Sorry, I was looking for snacks. Um... This beef kind of isn't between me. I'm just a banana man. Uh, I don't even know why I did this quest for. I'm pretty sure it's for this bowler hat that um, I've deformed with my giant forehead. That's why I'm here. Not any of this. So I'll just uh, I'll just see myself out over here. You know, you know what I look like? I look like Nick Valentine's sleep paralysis demon behind him. What is this crap? Look at that Commonwealth sky. It's raining. You got a hole in your head. Aren't you short circuiting? Alright, so if you hear like an electrical explosion in the distance, uh, I think I know why. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just gonna wait for the rain to go away too. I don't wanna, I'm gonna get my banana soggy, you see. It's really you. What a touching reunion. How's it going? Uh, I didn't mean to do that, alright? You know I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Oh my god. Is that how robots make babies? Um, I know he's got a secretary and all, but I don't think that really works if your name's Banana, man. I think you can just walk straight in, right? Where's the key at? Uh... Funny business around the mayor. Got it? Yeah, sure. Nothing suspicious going on here. I got the key. Let's... Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look around, shall we? wonder if there's any secret... Oh, look. I found the button. I'm pretty smart. Hold on a second. How's this duffel bag have an advanced lock on it? One, I don't see a lock. And for... You know, number two. If it's a Bethesda made duffel bag, it's made of paper. All right, so it was at this point I was going to end the video off by, uh, you know, using that new command to wipe this place off the, uh, you know, face of the earth. Um, fortunately, that didn't go too well, as you guys learned, when my eardrums were exploded. So I guess, uh, you know, until next time, Banana Man is going to take a sit down because he quite clearly can easily beat Fallout 4 with a banana. And he really needs a new challenge. A new challenge that Banana Man is going to sit on this bench, probably sleep, because, well, let's face it, he's just a homeless man with a really deformed face. Uh, and a banana that is not a banana. It clearly is some sort of knife, a very sharp one. And he's going to think up a new idea and come back to the world of Fallout and give it a real challenge. But for now, he needs to uh, sleep on the bench and beg some money. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button.